G'day, in this video we'll be looking at microbes in the rumen. If you have not yet seen the previous video, which is on monogastrics versus ruminant digestive systems, I recommend uh, going to watch that. Uh, it'll give you a bit more context in uh, the microbes and the systems that we're looking at today. As we discussed in the last video, microbes are fundamental to the functioning of the rumen. And so pretty much we have three different types of microbes in the rumen. We have our bacteria, we have our fungi, and we also have our protozoa. So the function of these microbes is to break down carbohydrates found in our plant matter. And so some of these um, carbohydrates can include cellulose, which is quite hard to break down, uh, simple sugars, as well as starch. And so the um, plant matter moves into the rumen uh, as, the, uh, as the animal eats. Uh, and then these microbes uh, start to decompose and break down these really hard to break down um, compounds. And so the animal can't break it down by themselves. This is why they recruit their microbes uh, to this work for them. And so the microbes, they receive a place to live so that um, they can live inside the rumen. And they also receive food as the um, animal eats their feed. And so this relationship between the microbes and our animal is called a symbiotic relationship. And that is where both of the parties, or both organisms, benefit from the interaction. And so the animal receives the ability to break down plant matter, and these microbes can uh, live there and get as much food as they want. And so our microbes decompose as plant matter, and as a result, we get amino acids, so they can break down um, the proteins and form their own proteins. And so we get amino acids, we also get microbial protein. Uh, so the, uh, the microbes eat this plant matter and then they grow. We also get vitamin Bs, these microbes can produce vitamin B, uh, and sugars. So cellulose is made up of a long chain of uh, glucose, and so they break down this long chain of glucose into more simple sugars. And so this is really the benefit that our ruminating animals uh, get out of their relationship with microbes. And so this relationship is fundamental to the, to the survival of both the ruminating animal and these microbes. So these microbes are really important to the functioning and survival of the animal. And so it's really important that we keep them alive. However, the microbes are really susceptible to changes in their environment. So for example, the rumen has a pH of around six um, and any changes or large changes in that pH can really disrupt the population of our microbes. And so a rapid change in pH can kill the microbes. And so the rumen won't function properly or if there's a significant change to their food. So for example, say if you're changing your cattle's feed from a pasture-based diet to a supplemented diet using pellets and grain, the change in this feed is going to disrupt the functioning of these microbes. So a change in the population um, will occur. And so the microbes that are better suited to breaking down, hard to break down um, compounds such as cellulose will be outcompeted by these other microbes. And so there's just a change but with this change can cause bloating, which, which is a common um, effect of rapidly changing um, a diet. And so what happens when uh, a cow gets bloat is that there's an increase in gas. And so this um, process, the fermentation that happens inside the rumen produces a lot of gas. And so if there's too much of a change, it will disrupt these um, microbes or become distressed and then they'll produce more gas. And so in uh, bloating, there's a lot more gas in uh, the rumen and that will cause a, a increase in pressure which actually pushes towards the lungs and the cattle or your ruminating animal can suffocate that way. And that's how a change in the uh, rumen environment can really affect the well-being of your animal. And so to protect our animals against this rapid uh, change in diet and from them getting bloat or any other disease, we just have to slowly introduce them to new diets. And so remember, when we're feeding our ruminating animals, we're not really feeding them, we're feeding the microbes inside of them. And then that's how we feed our animals. So keep in mind the microbes, because it's these guys that are really feeding our ruminating animals. If you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more of our content. This is Agriculture Explained. My name is Teal Simmons. Thank you very much for watching.